Okay, I'm going to try to make this a pretty quick video. I had a question about how do I separate items in Blender when it comes to files, particularly object files, or STL for that matter, that have uh, should have several items. So I'm going to bring up a file that, um, that I uh, just downloaded a day or two ago. 1968 Dodge Coronet uh, Super B two-door hardtop and the Xbox app I'm using here to record this doesn't show every window it shows the initial windows but when you bring up files there's a separate window that pops up so in the video that's not going to show up but just the same let's bring that file out here so we're going to go to our object mode here object file and let's see if I can find that okay 1968 there we go now the file showed up really big. I mean, it was huge. It made the, it practically filled up the entire screen when it showed up. So I scaled it. What you want to do is when you're, uh, when you get a file and that's for another video time, but there's a way to scale this in Blender. So it comes out to be exactly 125th scale when you, when the time comes to print it out. Okay. So on that note, what you want to do here, just real quick, is you want, since this is, is an entire object, is highlighted here, since it's a whole entire object, we're going to hit our tab key, and we're going to go into edit mode. Once you go into edit mode, you see all the vertices and things happening here. Hit your P key, and right here where it says by loose parts, hit that. What that then does is separate everything in edit mode, and you go want to go back to object mode, and now you can start to separate things out. So say I wanted to pick up this fender, okay? Let's grab that. Hit the G key. Move it all around. If I want to grab the bumper, hit that. Move it all around. And what I'm going to start doing with this particular file is start separating body parts, uh, uh, the car parts, by their, by their order. First, I want to, like say, I want to pick out, say I want to grab the front fender. So in order to save that as its own file, highlight that or pick that out, hit your H key, hide it, hit your A key to select everything, hit the X key, delete everything, now hit your A H key, we want just that in our scene and our scene alone for the time being, okay? So I want to export that out, for example, and now I'm going to export it as a... STL, just for example here. I won't be my ultimate way I'm doing this, but just for example. So we're going to go to export, STL, and I'm going to go to my Dodge file here, and I'm just going to call that Dodge Fender for the time being. It'll be a whole different name, file name I'll give this, but Dodge, oops, Dodge Fender. Okay. That's now exported. So say I need to recall this later on, all right? So let's just delete it, get it out of here. Bring it back in the S as an STL file. So I'm gonna import it back in as an STL. Go back to my Dodge category, Dodge Fender. There we go. Notice that the surface changed just slightly. It's not quite as smooth, it's not bad at all, but not quite as smooth as it was when it was any object mode. In the STL mode, you're going to see a slight bit of facetness. If I go into the tab key here, let's get rid of these, turn this into quads. Hit your A, A, or your Alt and your J key to get everything back to quads. And that's what our, the surface I'll be working with pretty much. I can make that a wee bit smoother, but for me personally, this is just right. So let's back up again. Let's recap. Let's go back to where we were ahead of time or before. Say I want to pick out a door or, or this whole entire rear clip here. Okay, in this case here, he has it formatted where it's the roof and the tulip panel and the quarter panels are all connected together. So hit our H key to hide it. And this has interior, so it's got a headliner too, which is pretty neat. We're going to hit our A key, X to get rid of everything, and to bring that back. That's how you were to do that. That's how we do that. That's how you separate parts in Blender. Got to get everything in the edit mode 
and then uh, hit your P key, loose part, and there you go. So let's back up here a bit. Let's bring that back. Now, it's a very good idea to separate everything while the object or the subject you're working on is an object or, or .obj format. The reason why is because once it's converted to STL, there's some things that will not separate in .stl as opposed to .obj. I don't know why, but that's just the way Blender works and the way files work. So if you want to separate things like trim, little doodads, emblems, things like that, you want to do it while it's in the OBJ format, not STL. You don't. You want to separate those things out in .obj, then convert them to .stl. So, hope that's a quick synopsis here and. Any questions, just comment in the section below, and I'll try to answer as best I can. And we're going to do another little quick video sooner or later about another aspect of how to handle car body files. But uh, that's it. Thanks for tuning in.